All right. Thanks for that, Stephen. Now, the Ministry of Health is on the spot yet again. Over 10.9 billion shillings that cannot be accounted for in the financial year that ended on June 30th. Auditor General Edward Oko, in his report on the expenditure at the Afia House, says critical payment vouchers and other supporting documents were not availed for audit, raising, obviously, the red flag. And as Francis Gashuri reports, the USA and the European diplomatic missions are considering blocking Kenyan grand corruption suspects from traveling abroad. The Auditor General has cast the spotlight on Afia House and flagged out a litany of audit queries that could point to loss of billions of taxpayers' money in the 2017-2018 financial year. Though Afia House proclaims zero tolerance on corruption, a diagnosis of the Ministry's financial health indicates otherwise, as detailed in the Edward Oko report. The Auditor General revealing that cash deposits of 10.9 billion shillings that were held in the Ministries of Medical Services and Public Health, which were merged to form the Ministry of Health were not transferred to a new deposit account as directed by the National Treasury. A statement on the Ministry's assets and liabilities as at 30th June 2018 reflected a bank balance of 52 million shillings. However, the closing figure of the development cash book revealed that 1.2 million shillings could not be accounted for. On compensation of employees in the 2017-2018 financial year, a statement of receipts indicated that 6.7 billion shillings was spent. However, an expenditure amounting to 4.3 billion shillings could not be verified since payment vouchers and other related supporting documents were not availed for audit review. The Auditor General returning a similar verdict on expenditure incurred in supply of specialized materials and services worth 979 million shillings, the Ministry failing to avail supporting documents to confirm an expenditure of 46 million shillings. On acquisition of assets, records indicate that 2.3 billion shillings were spent, but vouchers and other relevant documents supporting the expenditure of 83 million shillings were not availed for audit review. The latest revelations on the state of affairs at Afia House emerging as foreign envoys back the ongoing purge on mega-corruption. Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission Chairman Elliot Wabukala and CEO Twali Mbarak met diplomats from USA, Canada, France, Finland, Italy, Netherlands, Sweden and Australia who rooted for the exit from public office of all national and county government officials implicated in corruption to facilitate free and transparent investigations. The diplomats indicating that they would block corruption suspects from traveling to their countries amid claims that looted finances were stashed abroad. British High Commissioner Nick Haley, backing President Uhuru Kenyatta's anti-graft campaign, whose ultimate success is says is in prosecuting masterminds of grand corruption. Francis Gashuri, Citizen TV.